Today we are going to focus on Kerala. Kerala fight uh, virus cases like Nipah, Zika. They have been quite efficient. The best nurses that we learn from actually, nurses from South India, from Kerala in particular. State of India, Kerala. Keralites or Malayalams. Kerala is one state that has developed its health infrastructure really well. And the people of Kerala and the authorities of Kerala, they've done a stunning job. The concept of the Kerala model in fighting COVID is gaining acceptance all over the world. Even as others stand observing with awe and admiration, the health workers of Kerala are busy exploring newer avenues in the sphere of COVID prevention care. Walk and sample kiosk or WISC is intended to avoid the challenge arising from more people testing positive for the disease or in the event of community spread. Collecting samples within two minutes time is its main highlight. Apart from ensuring that the doctor and patient will not come in contact with each other, this arrangement helps to speed up the tests. This is the first time in India that such a facility has been set up for COVID prevention activities. The caution exercised by Kerala in the first stage in isolating those who were suspected of the disease and subjecting them to tests and also making those who came from foreign countries and other states undergo quarantine has started yielding results. The number of people infected by the disease in Kerala has come down considerably. If the number of virus infected showed a daily increase of 40% earlier, it has now come to 2%. Also, the number of people under observation is coming down. The reason behind this are the measures taken by the Kerala government in bringing the situation under control. The government's promulgation of the Kerala Epidemic Ordinance 2020 is itself a proof of the seriousness of its actions. Root maps of the patients were prepared and more people who came in contact with them were identified through it. Mobile applications and digital technologies were utilized for this purpose. Being able to accurately determine from whom the patients were infected by the virus boosted the self-confidence of the health workers. 70% of the infected persons in Kerala had either returned from foreign countries or other states. They were kept in strict quarantine and those who came in contact with them were identified. The police, district administrations and local self-government department work in an excellent manner to implement social distancing completely. The public relations department gave strong support to the health workers. Kerala has the most number of people who recovered from COVID infection and returned to life. If 11.2% of people recovered from COVID disease in the country, the percentage is 52.24 in Kerala. The oldest people among those who recovered from the disease in the world are most likely from Kerala. The health workers in Kerala rescued people as old as 93 and 88. More people recovering from COVID disease and leaving the hospital is the positive outcome of creating a definite treatment roadmap and strictly following it. Foreigners who recovered from COVID viewed Kerala's health sector with wonderment. Whereas they have to spend huge amounts for treatments in their home countries, Kerala offered excellent facilities as a service. We shall overcome, we shall overcome someday. Kerala is ahead of other states in the matter of coronavirus laboratory tests as well. There are 10 centers for testing in Kerala. Kerala also indigenously developed the rapid test kit that identifies the presence of the virus in 15 minutes. The first of its kind kit in India was developed by the Rajiv Gandhi Center for Biotechnology in Tiruvanandapuram. Kerala Sri Chitra Tirunal Institute for Medical Sciences and Technology has started plasma therapy for the first time in India. This reveals the alert nature of Kerala's society in times of need. In Kasargod district, where the COVID infection is the severest, 
the Kasaragod Medical College was converted into an ultra-modern COVID treatment center in a matter of just four days. Apart from this, the construction of a special COVID hospital was started in Kasaragod district by the Tata company at the request of the government. The government is taking great care to ensure that the life of people in the state is not seriously affected by this crisis phase in the field of health. It has been a huge relief to the people that the Civil Supplies Department is making available food grains and provision kits through ration shops. Over 1,400 Kudumbasri Janakia hotels and community kitchens across the state have been providing lunch for free and at Rs 20 for those who can afford it. Telemedicine facility was started to provide relief to other patients who faced a crisis due to COVID. Police and fire and rescue departments have come forward to deliver medicines to those who need it. Food and accommodation were arranged for guest workers as per their needs. Over 18,000 camps have been set up for guest workers in Kerala. In addition to all these, Kerala intervenes with online counselling, help desk and telemedicine facilities to ensure the welfare of expatriate Malayalis spread all over the world. Even as the situation improves, the state of Kerala is in no mood to let its guard down. The timely acts and focused intervention through a balanced mix of scientific and creative approach in fighting COVID made the world to take serious note of the small Indian state. Now your state at one stage had recorded uh, the most number of cases in the state and how challenging uh, was the situation for your government to fight this menace? We have been alert about COVID-19 right from the very beginning, since the latter half of January. Do you have enough supplies? It's a question that is being asked everywhere. We are well equipped to deal with the situation. We have enough stocks of food grains and essential commodities that is enough and more for more than three months. You know, many states have had and your state has had as well is the issue of migrant labor. Some people prefer to call them Migrant workers, we, both government and the people of Kerala, call them guest workers. What gets reflected in it is our concern for them. What Kerala thinks today, India thinks tomorrow. And one of the things that you've been pushing for is aggressive testing. Tests in Kerala is happening at a rate which is unmatched by any other state. In a health emergency like this, we feel that this should be Expedited. What's your message uh, to all of uh, our viewers here at Republic TV and everybody watching this broadcast on the steps we must now take going ahead? We appeal to Kerala's around the world to strictly adhere to the instructions being issued by their respective governments and to follow the guidelines issued by WHO from time to time.